Oh, hi there. Are you bored too? Squirrel? Squirrel? Nope. None spotted. Hi everyone. The boys are at school today so I figured I would do a little pregnancy vlog and just show you what a typical day is like being pregnant. Very pregnant today. 32 weeks. Getting very close y'all. Feeling so sassy in these new leggings I got. They go over the bump so I feel like the black kind of hides it, you know? I was also wearing it like this. I feel like that just kind of makes me look yeah, maybe this just isn't that flattering. Got my little sweater, so that kind of makes me feel skinnier, you know? Yep, okay. There's the belly for you. That's the only time you're seeing it. What? Do you miss your brothers? Oh, you want to go outside? Don't mind that. <laughs> oh! And she's off. Wow, that was fast. Everyone. This is the last look at my filming room. This is our dining room, but it's also where I film. We're moving this weekend, so I don't know. I might still continue filming. We're, we're not moving far, so I might come here and continue filming, but this is the setup. This is usually where I film, right there. Look familiar. I am going to miss this because where we're moving to, I just don't know where I'm filming yet, and it's probably going to be a white, you know, just your standard area, but uh, my camera's just always changing. The color is just very inconsistent, so I am kind of looking forward to having just a very simple white background, but I do love this room. I am sad that we're moving because of this room, but we might recreate this at our new house or I might try to recreate the fireplace with the wall sconces and some type of wallpaper at our new house just for my background, but it's gonna be very neutral. It's definitely gonna be white or cream, not bluish green. But yeah, I'm very sad. We're moving in two days. Two days, I repeat, two days. But honestly, fortunately, I'm pregnant and I don't have to lift much. I can't. I sure am going to try, though. I sure am going to try to do my part, that's for sure. Let's see, what else do I usually do on a typical day the boys are at school? Usually, I'm over here in this little corner. This is my workspace. <laughs> Kind of messy right now, but this is where I edit. Currently uploading a video as we speak. Look at that blue light. That is just, I need to turn that brightness down. Apparently the blue light from your computer screens and your phone have been shown in recent studies to age you far more than sunlight. So try to turn your brightness down as low as you can. <laughs> just to prevent that or turn your warm setting on. Yeah, just a little tip. But yeah, sometimes I take a nap if I'm tired. Oh, haven't been tired in a while, surprisingly. This is 32 weeks now. I have a lot of energy for some reason. <laughs> or maybe it's just because my kids are gone. Usually I'm a lot more exhausted when they're home. I don't know why that is, but you know, I pretty much just lay around all day. <laughs> just kidding. I'm usually busy filming. I try to film three to four videos every Tuesday while they're gone and then that will last me for the week. I try to edit them. Try to get one edited on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, I always try to get my skincare video up on Wednesday now. And then Thursdays, I get the rest edited because they're at school, Tuesday and Thursdays, but. Yeah, this is about it. Feeling pretty good today. Like I said, it's beautiful out. I might go try to sneak in a 20 minute walk in the neighborhood before I have to go pick them up from school. I cannot be a minute late or they charge you by the minute. Pickups at four o'clock sharp, uploading a video, feeling pretty good. So I sure do appreciate you guys listening to me. So again, we're moving on Saturday, so I might try to do a little moving vlog. I don't know, I get kind of embarrassed and camera shy when people are around. So I don't know if I'm gonna be filming with all those movers around. And I know they don't want me filming them, but I might try to sneak some images of them. Just kidding. I do need to show you a house tour. I will do that. Currently have cleaners over there as we speak. They definitely peeved me a little because the lady came out for an estimate two months ago. The estimate was $600 to clean the whole house, which sounds like an absurd amount of money, I understand, but the first quote was 1000 from a different company, so I went with the second company. Anyways, they sent two dingoes over today, two scrawny little girls younger than me, and I'm like, how are you gonna clean this house? And they said that they don't think it should be that long. An hour later, after they started cleaning, I get a call from the supervisor saying, the 
house is way more dustier than they realized. We've been renovating my grandparents' house for two years now, so it is very dusty. They said the house is way dustier than they realized. The girls aren't gonna be able to finish today. They're gonna have to come out another day which might be an additional $600 for a full second day. So don't you worry, got my husband to call them because I'm non-confrontational. You know, we said, you came out for an estimate two months ago, you quoted us for $600. You saw the dust, you were at the house, you saw the dust, how is it that much different two months later? The house has been sitting there for two years, you saw all the dust. It's all the house size, like why'd you send your worst, scrawniest crew? Come on now, I expect more from that. Anyways, they said the hourly rate is like $130 per hour and their day goes till 3 p.m. and we only paid for six hours. I was like, you quoted us $600. You never said that was per hour. I thought a full day goes till like maybe five. I mean, I would even be happy with four or 4.30, but no. So anyways, my husband raised ruckus sure to appreciate that. They refunded us the extra hour because I asked if they could stay for, till four o'clock, which was gonna be an, an additional $130. They said they would refund us that and they sent a backup crew to help so that they would finish it all today, thankfully. But oh, I'm not happy with Mary Maids. That's the company, by the way. They are chain, they are all over. So don't hire Mary Maids. That's the moral of my story because they'll send their worst crew, scrawny girls, and they were really rude to us at first. So don't go out to people's houses and do estimates if you're gonna renege and go back on your word. That's the moral of my story. Anyways, thanks for listening. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>